or hello everybody and today we're gonna do a video on how to clean out clean this foam paste and reapply it on this motherboard. I'm going to use the formal paste that I have laying around. Nothing probably typical of what you're going to find. Try to see if I can find my nicer formal paste, but I can't right now. So I'll be using this cooler master formal paste, which is pretty decent. But okay. This is an HP motherboard that has an i5 2410M. Completely forgot model it came out of. This is going to be used for a future video as a project, but I'm going to change out thermal paste. I've already changed thermal paste, I believe. No, actually, I ha actually haven't. So, uh, what you need is some alcohol wipes. I have some Ryan ones, some thermal paste. I have some Cooler Master ones. Then I have a really nice screwdriver because I take computers apart, but any regular screwdriver will do that's a little bit smaller, so I would recommend a zero, 0 or a 1. And... I'm going to do this with both hands. So I'm going to hold the camera with one and then remove the screws. There should be a minimum of four screws on the CPU cooler. One here, one here, and one here, and one here. So we'll take start taking them out. And I don't have it in the right setting. It has multiple settings. Okay, so now I'm starting to remove it. Wait until it clicks. Makes it like clicking or popping noise. Maybe this motherboard doesn't make that noise. Some motherboards make like a clicking noise once you've hit the barrier. Once it's loosened enough. That one's loosened enough. And now this one. You should be doing this in a cross pattern. I'm doing it wrong, but it doesn't hurt it anything. But this is a laptop motherboard. It's a little bit different for desktops, but it's very similar. Okay, this cooler should come off now. Okay, the cooler is separated from that. But as you can see, this thermal paste is pretty decent, actually. But I'm going to clean it off. You want to clean it off this part, the heat sink, and the CPU itself. Laptops have CPUs and also GPUs have, have their chip uh, exposed like this. I'm trying to switch hands. I put it down for a second. Okay, I'm gonna start cleaning it off. All you really need to do is get the thermal paste off the chip itself, so the new thermal paste will be applied. I'm trying to get, yeah, I'm dropping things today, and then get it off here. I'm gonna quickly put down the phone for this. You want to get all of it off of here, though. Yeah, as you can tell, I definitely didn't remove it because change it because it's not coming off very easily. So, it's going to take some force, but don't don't use something like a screwdriver, because that will harm the conductivity and everything of your CPU cooler, or heatsink, whatever you want to call it. Okay. I don't have it perfect, but it's pretty clean. Some heatsinks you're going to have to take more precautions, because the screws aren't stuck in it, or permanently in it, but this one does, so you won't have to take that precaution. Now we're going to apply a new formal paste. I recommend doing it on the chip, but you could put it on the CPU core. You don't have to spread it out. With older formal grease, this was the way it was. I need to listen to cap on this formal paste. And it's being a pain. Okay, I got it off. So, okay. I'm sorry I'm just getting into these tech videos. Here's a formal paste. I'm going to put a little amount on it. Not too much. To put a little like that. That shouldn't harm it. It's probably actually less than it was on it in the factory. Right now you're going to reset seat the cooler. And then this time I'm actually going to tighten the star pattern. Going from one screw to the other. I'm going to start with that screw. Until it's tight. Well you shouldn't be going until it's tight but. That's actually not in the socket. I have to move it over a little bit. Okay, I got it in the correct space. I'm going to start with this one. Get partially down. Then we're going to do this one. Okay, now let's go on the star pattern. Do this one. I, I don't know exactly how to do a star pattern, but we're getting there. 
And I, I, I'll probably start doing teardown videos for certain laptops because I tear laptops apart to sell the parts. That's actually what I do as a part time job. Okay, I need to finish screwing in this one. Okay, it's back in. So that's how you change the front paste on the CPU cooler. It's very similar for desktops, but the stock cooler is going to be pretty much easier to remove. Hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to comment, rate, and subscribe. Bye bye.